Well, I've used two lots of software. Initially, uh, when I did it a year ago, I used like Word and the tracking function through Word, and this time uh, I've used the Adobe Acrobat Pro software, which I think's got advantages in that it doesn't change the underlying students' work, so it doesn't sort of change formatting or you know, line uh, sense or whatever like that. So I think the, the Adobe Pro is the way to go with the, the marking. Um, strategies in terms of giving feedback to the student. Um, there's a little marking tool that you can use in uh, Acrobat. So when they got something right, I just put like a, a tick there, which came out nicely on their page. And obviously when they did something wrong, I was able to get more feedback. Um, I asked students to submit in uh, Adobe if they could, simply because that was the way I was going to mark. Um, but I did mention if they couldn't do that to just upload it however they, they could and, and uh, the advantage of that is um, being able to give more comprehensive feedback than you would uh, perhaps when you're writing things out because there's a limited amount of time that you have. You can establish a, a marking or feedback bank. Um, so once you've marked four or five, half a dozen assignments, you've pretty much got a lot of the comments that you're going to use for all of the students and it's very easy then to have those in a Word document and copy and paste in. It sounds like a bit of a cop out but when you really think about it it's not because um, you know, being able to give a paragraph worth of response or explanation to a student whereas you might just put a cross on there written uh, when you're marking it by hand, uh, they actually get a lot more uh, comprehensive feedback which uh, I think they've really appreciated. Well, I have had no negative comments um, from the ones I marked electronically. And when, when I saw the students last, I did ask a few of them how they found the, the comments and uh, they were all positive in their, their feedback. They um, perhaps identified that I was able to give more comprehensive feedback than they would have received you know, had it just been marked in the normal manner. A couple of things I really like about it is um, you can tell exactly when the students have uploaded their work. Um, you know, it gives you the, a timestamp, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's none of this sort of, oh yeah, I dropped it off at the wrong box or whatever. They've either uploaded it or they haven't. Um, you can actually set for it to accept late assignments up to a particular point in time. So you know, if, you've, if you say after three days they're not going to get any marks anyway, then you can just not let them submit. Save me collecting all the assignments and carrying them around the place. Um, when I went on mark at home, all I would take is a USB stick with everything on it. Don't have to carry loads of assignments around. Don't have to print them out. Um, and giving the students the assignments back is just you know, uploading the file and uh, you can do that and send it back immediately or you can upload them and save it for later on so that when you've got all the, the marks uploaded and you're happy with everything then you press the button and back it goes. So, yeah, I sort of found it a very enjoyable experience. Uh, it's, it's been really good. Um, I, I must admit also I was a little bit apprehensive about using it for like a number based assignment where um, you know, with accounting we've got lots of problems that students were uh, submitting. Um, I used it first for essays and that worked really really well because of the amount of individualised feedback that you can give. Um, but I must admit I was pleasantly surprised with the, the number based stuff that it worked you know, equally as well.